168 hours. That's it. You and I only get 168 hours every week. The president doesn't get any more or any less. The most productive person you know still gets 168 hours. And yet many of us feel that there's never enough time to get important things done. That's why we have to use every hour wisely and be as productive as possible during our hours of wakefulness. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today we consider five tips for dealing with that feeling that there's just not enough time to get our work done. If you like videos on productivity, leadership, management issues, I'd ask that you hit that subscribe button below. And if you really wanna make my day, hit the like button as well. You are not alone if you feel that there's not enough time. When researchers talk to American workers, about half said they hardly have enough time and two thirds say they always feel rushed. The numbers are worse for women and for single parents. The promise of how technology would make our lives easier and allow us to get more done in less time seems to have not been kept. This time crunch has been around for many decades. A professor of sociology at the London School of Economics says the irony is that we work about as much, if not less, than people did 50 years ago. In her book, Pressed for Time, Judy Wajman calls it the time pressure paradox, as we have more time for leisure activities. The faster phone or computer really doesn't make a difference. So what will work? Here are some tips. Consider waking up early. Many studies show that the most successful people get up early and begin with a morning routine that allows for exercise, meditation, and planning. Stop multitasking. You might think that doing more than one thing at a time will allow you to be more productive, but really the opposite is true. Multitasking damages the brain. We are just not wired to focus on multiple tasks. Avoid distractions. In his book, Driven to Distraction, Ed Hallowell says some people have what he calls culturally generated ADD. For example, who thought that working in a noisy coffee shop or an open concept office was a good idea? It's just not as easy to stay focused if you have other people and other noises around you. Don't view a long to-do list as a badge of courage or a statement of your importance. Jordan Etkin, an associate professor of marketing at Duke University, found in her research that we sense a feeling that we're time constrained, but yet we're more time affluent than we think we are. If we can manage our experience of time through interventions and conflict reduction, we can start to see that. She found one more important thing, and here's another tip. Take a breath when you are feeling overworked and stressed. She writes, breathe slowly with five counts in and six counts out. This can reduce the feelings of anxiety and make you feel like you have a little more time. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to be more productive, I'd like you to check out my online course called Pathway to Productivity and Better Time Management. It'll provide you with a new framework to help solve that problem for you. Whether you're dealing with too many meetings, too much email, too many distractions, you're gonna learn easy steps to feel a little bit more in control. Uh, my course explores the advantages of productivity, managing your calendar, managing your task list, email efficiency, meeting productivity, dealing with distractions, creating a productive work environment, and dealing with that not enough time syndrome. The course is based on research of methods that successful and organized people have been using for years, but each lesson is tailored to today's workflows and offers alternatives that will help you with your implementation. Go to DaveEdwardsMedia.com, click on courses, and you can find more information on the course, productivity, and better time management.